why do you think Bragg became so successful? What are the strategies that apply that make them so successful? If you have to go back and put it in a framework, do you have a framework? Can you tell me if these are the five reasons or two reasons why they became successful? I think many um, good PhD students who are trying to figure out the secret of the sauce um, on why BRAC uh, is as success so successful. Um, and there are many authors now who are, are writing about um, BRAC. Uh, if you ask me, I've been trying to, to figure out why does BRAC work? What's the unique um, aspects about this organization? Um, and I would say one, uh, Brack actually listened um, deeply to the communities uh, that they were working with um, when they started and have continued that practice. In going and working um, with really poor folks and living with them and understanding them in, in sharing their joys and their pains, you become, um, I think, deeply appreciative of uh, their talents and capabilities. Um, so that you're able to pull on the inherent strengths of your customer base, right? So listening is one. Participation is number two. BRAC does not assume that they are there to do something to or for someone else who's passive. No. The real way that people improve their lives is people are involved. You know, I can't develop you. Right? If you want to get an education, you've got to experience the joy of learning. It's not like you're an empty vessel and I can just pour the books into your head. No. So figuring out how to help people um, come out of their depression or their malaise or maybe just have enough food inside their bodies so that they can uh, begin to, to use their energy more productively. Uh, and, and importantly, to find hope. That is the most important thing for stimulating people's participation and creating a better future, right? Three, I would say that Brack's secret is in, in being a, a frugal innovator. This, this wonderful method of being able to pilot test ideas, figure out how to make it efficient, and um, figure out first how to make it uh, effective. And then once it's effective, make it efficient. You know, if you ask 10 questions and you only need seven, cut three out and then scale it. So the, the pathway for scaling up solutions the size of the problem are inherently grounded in Brack's approach to innovation. And I, I think for um, that, that orientation as a lear learning organization is absolutely critical because what works today or next year may not work in five years or ten years. Bangladesh, as I described, is a radically different place today than it used to be in the time I lived there. And when we start working in a country like South Sudan, a brand new um, independent country, they need everything. Um, when we started five years ago in Uganda, it was a very different country, much more developed in many respects, and yet still having problems like Bangladesh did in the 70s. Women having an average of six babies, not having access to control their own fertility, not having enough good work, not having access to markets, not being able to match the, the skills and the talents with, with market demand uh, for goods and services not being able to get credit to be able to start your own business idea, um, not having the, the, the uh, health care where you lived. You know, the, the, the rural side, the countryside is very neglected in most places. And so you've got this pull into capital cities and urbanization as a result has its own problems. So the learning organization aspect is absolutely key to figuring out what's going to work and keep working. And that's, I think, uh, what we call adaptive planning now. And the last thing I would say, and there are probably many more, but the fifth secret of the sauce, um, I believe, is Brack chose to invest in working with and through women as a catalyst for change and really investing in unleashing the talents of people. 
So BRAC is like a human capital machine. <laughs> In the U.S. context, we might know McDonald's is the first employer of most young people, right, uh, with a, barely a high school degree. But McDonald's will hire you and teach you about work discipline and, you know, all these things, employability skills. BRAC is a huge employer, not just in Bangladesh, but we employ 2,000 people in Uganda. When we start in a country, we quickly become, in just three, four, five years, the largest employer. People name bus stops after BRAC. <laughs> and part of what this, um, this skill is, it's a skill of being able to, to see the talent when it's just a raw diamond in the rough. And then if you're growing, you can, you can promote uh, very rapidly. You can uh, invest in making sure that your staff get access to training and ideas. And key is for them to keep learning, learning on the job, because BRAC never spends a lot of time doing long training courses. You know, I think our longest one ever might be two weeks. Then we put them on the job and then have refreshers once a month. It's continuous supervision, it's learning on the job, it's refresher training, it's fast pathways for promotion, it's basically investing in people who uh, are closest to the problem and who have a vested interest in solving that problem. <laughs>